This short video is going to show you the easy and straightforward way to set up your VR panorama head to find the correct nodal point or no parallax point of a lens. Centre the camera over the point of rotation. You can see the red line on the video. You do this by sliding the camera forwards and backwards on the horizontal rail. Take a look through the viewfinder and you should be able to centre the point of rotation in the centre of your viewfinder. The red circle shows you. Once you're happy that you've got that in the centre, tighten up and lock the arm in position. Next, you need to line your camera up with two vertical lines, one close to the camera and one far away. We've used two tripods, but you could use a door frame, a window frame, a tree, a lamp post. When you look through your camera and rotate it, you'll see that these two vertical lines appear to move in relation to each other. Move your camera position forwards and then look again, see if they're still moving in relation to each other. As you can see this time they are, but there's less apparent movement, which shows we're going the right way. We're going to move it a little further. When we take a look this time and rotate the camera, the two lines don't appear to move. That means we've moved the camera to the exact position that we need and we need to tighten it up on the horizontal arm so that it's locked in position. You've now got both arms set up and you're ready to use the kit. You can add a bubble level, a hot shoe bubble level to your camera as an extra check. And that's all there is to it. Panorama Head is now ready to use with your camera and lens combination. You can use it with a single row of images. You can rotate your camera to take pictures right up to the sky or all the way down. Or you can set your camera as we've done here to do multiple rows. This camera is set up to take an upper row of images. And that's it. You're ready to start. We'd encourage every panoramic photographer to learn how to find the no parallax point of a lens. As you can see, it's quick and easy. And once you've mastered it, it'll work with virtually any lens at any focal length and with virtually any panorama head.